Hello, my name is Joel and today I'm going to demonstrate how to mount a 34 frame motor onto our MXE25 with a reverse parallel 1 to 1 ratio. First step would be to mount the pulley and the collar clamp onto the motor. You can see the collar clamp goes closer to the motor. You want to tension or torque this screw, the cross bolt, to a, a, a required torque so that this pulley doesn't slip during operation. Once that's set, we can install the motor onto the RP housing. Install the belt, loop it around the bottom pulley, and then also the upper motor pulley, and just Snug it, snug it up so that the belt is a little bit tight, but it doesn't need to have, we don't need any tension on it yet. So once we have that in place, we can put in the plate that goes behind. This is a threaded, it's got four threaded holes in it. It's a threaded plate that will feed the screws through the motor, through the actuator housing, and into that plate. So I'm just going to thread in two screws here. And the first one's going to be the top. I can access it easily and I'm going to get that snug and now I can go down to this bottom corner, the opposite corner and tighten up the other screw. So get it through the motor, through the housing again into that plate. And again I just need to go snug on this because we're going to tension the belt. The belt needs to be tensioned to about 10 pounds of, of pull force. First we get this screw tight, snugged up here. It needs to be in a position so that we can move it around pretty easily. Now before we tension the belt, we want to put this plate on. There's a bearing in here that supports the lower shaft. You can see that just lines right up. So I'll put that on and feed the screw through the center into that threaded hole on the opposite side of the housing. We'll tighten that up. Once that's tight, we would need to come in from the top here with, with a fish scale of sorts to pull that motor shaft up and tension that belt. This needs to be about 10 pounds of tension on the belt, so we'll get that tensioned into place and then tighten up the, four, the screws on the motor. And once you get one tight, it's pretty close, you want to make sure you get both of them tightened before you uh, release tension on that so that the belt stays good and tight. So now I can put in my other two screws on the motor housing. Once those are in place, it's pretty straightforward to just drop in the cover on the top. be all set. See those four screws go in. You want to tighten these, <coughs> when you tighten up the screws on the motor, tighten them all to the same torque so that the motor is flat against the surface of that housing. And that'll keep the motor from skewing. We don't want any skew in the motor otherwise components could fail. So let's um, Put this cover on. You can use the four screws with the Phillips screwdriver. Get those driven in. And once that's complete, the motor is mounted, ready for action. Thank you.